everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Kate and in this video I'm going to do something that I haven't done in quite a while and that is do a reading vlog so my thoughts for this reading vlog is um, it's the school holidays here so it's the Easter holidays I have about two weeks uh, where I have things planned but also where I've got to do some school stuff um, but my plan is to read one book and that one book is The Love Hypothesis. So I've read the first little bit of it. So I've read the first like two pages, which is the prologue. Um, but I haven't read anything more. And I thought this would be a great video to do as a reading vlog, but also something less stressful because I know this is a contemporary romance. And I don't tend to read a lot of them. So I have like a few sprinkled in my rainbow shelves, but not in my fantasy ones behind me. And I thought it might be an idea to do that. I've also got heaps of things happening this week. So um, today's Monday. I've already been to Bunnings uh, and we've got some timber to just do some projects around the house. Uh, and then I'm getting my nails done. So I'll take you along for that ride. Um, and then tomorrow we're getting our new lounge, which is just amazing. It's honestly, it's like we're in a cinema. Um, I can't wait to show you that, but also building that's going to be hilarious. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm getting my hair done. So I am going for the big chop with my hair. Um, so if you don't know, my hair is quite long. It is um, past past my bra strap. It's quite long. Honestly, I could probably tuck it under my hair and make armpit hair. I will show you on that day. It's still a bit damp from last night because it's just so long. Um, so I originally got blonde put in my hair um and got it trimmed last year in november um i've had that for quite a while now it's now april um not 100 percent loving it um i want to go more warmer tones maybe some like rich caramels because i love caramel it's just life um but thought i'd give it a go but i also want to get a substantial amount of length chopped off so i'll take you along for that ride too um end of the week Good Friday, we are going to Victoria um, to visit some family. So we are doing a bit of a road trip then. So we'll see what happens, whether this continues into the end of the week or whether it's just a couple of days or maybe just one day. Who knows? Um, but they're my thoughts. I don't know why my camera just zoomed in. Sorry, I am filming with my Apple Watch. It makes it a lot easier because um, I am using my phone to record this just in terms of uploading speed and all that kind of stuff. So sorry if it's slowly zoomed in on my face. That's a little awkward. Um, but yeah, this is a really long intro and I'm just, let's just jump straight in. Yeah. First off, um, it is nice to be vlogging again. I quite enjoy it. And I know if my kids see this on here, um, they're just going to get a lot of life stuff and reading. So welcome to PG, Miss H. So enjoy. Um, but I'm going to read this. Obviously, it's TikTok sensation and there's other books out. And I really want to read the other books as well. Um, I want to get a lot more into contemporary romance and try some different ones. I have been reading a lot of um, like dark romance books and been eating them up. If you haven't seen um, either my Goodreads or um, where I post on Instagram what I've read for the um read for the month it's been a lot of dark romance dark romance kindle books and i just wanted something a little bit lighter and less dark so more mills and boonsy kind of like oh no i'm in trouble um so yeah um i do have new glasses so these are my reading glasses now so they're just straight reading if you can see i'm pretty blind um so they're just my straight reading ones i really should have got the reflective tint on there rookie error I'll do that next time um but I love the style I love the shape they're just amazing um so I normally wear multifocals because I'm blind as a bat and I can't see far away or up close sorry I keep looking at myself instead of like the actual camera so sorry if that's a bit weird anyway um I am blind 
and I want to just straight reading glasses instead of trying to like read through the bottom all the time and read my book. I'm like, I just want to read like this, which is really bad for your neck, but oh well. Um, I'm hoping this is worth the hype. I will let you know. Um, if you haven't seen my other books that I've read or like my wrap ups, I will leave a link above so you can have a look um, at all the books that I tend to read for the month. So yeah. Um, but anyway, my hair is like a chaotic mess. It is very humid here. Um, but I'll take it out so you can see. Like it's quite, it's quite long. Um, so this is my hair. Like, I don't know if you can see. If I move this, I'll just, I'll just zoom in down. See, look, it's quite long. Um, I am so ready for a chop. Just chop it all off. But also like my hair has got a wave in it. So I'm hoping with chopping a substantial amount off, that um, some of my waves will come back up a bit more. I'll just move you all the wrong way. I've got one of those fancy tripods my partner bought that follows you like it's one of those trippy, like if I lift you up here, it's just gonna follow me and keep at that right angle, which is sorry if that just made you sick. But anyway, go back to where I want. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's my thought with my hair. And I'm thinking maybe some reds. Or who knows? Who knows what I'll end up with? Um, but yes, I'm going out today. Very excited to see my friend and get our nails done. So I've currently got um, purple and glitter and they just really need redoing. Um, I'm thinking going like a neutral color and like neutral and then like pink on that one and then um, like flat flat coffin shaped um I really like the coffin shaped they're really nice but yeah that's my thoughts so I've got it's 10 30 at the moment I don't have to be here till 12 so I don't have to leave till 11 30 because it takes me half an hour to get there uh so I might start with some reading so welcome to my first reactions of the book again so um I've read the prologue love it so far I like the writing style uh it's not too complex it's not too sciencey sciencey because I was really worried about that um because I am an English brain not a science brain I do know the basics of science but not like full in-depth kind of thing and I was a little worried um so the prologue is really good really enjoyed it like the idea of her and um her backstory so far and the mystery meeting kind of idea. Um, yeah, 
so far so good uh so you know too this is going to be a spoiler filled one i should have said that earlier um uh, because i am going to give you my honest thoughts as i read through this and my thoughts and feelings as i go through so yes anyway i'm gonna go have something to eat because i am hungry and i'm gonna get ready to head out so yes oh i didn't show you i got a new phone case i haven't put it it's not on the phone at the moment because the holder doesn't allow it but i'll change that soon um but yeah it's from Redbubble. it's super cute and then i've put like my pop socket on it because i am a i'm a person who smacks myself in the face all the time um but yeah i love the rainbow books and i'm very tempted to change my sh whole shelves into rainbow books but also i know i won't like it because i like genre so that's why i've got them on one shelf anyway i'm mumbling i'm gonna go bye So it is the afternoon now. Um, I went and got my nails done earlier. It's about 4.30 coming on to 5. I uh, haven't really done much this afternoon. Haven't read anything. I have smudged my eyeliner everywhere. I've got to redo that before I go out. Um, not much going on. Haven't read any more of the book. I am going to read a bit more later. Um, but... I honestly had a bit of a chill afternoon. I'm just now watching um, some reading vlogs. I'm watching Alexandra, um, Rosaline, um, or Lexi, um, her reading vlog, um, her recent one. Uh, we are going out to dinner later tonight to a, a nice little like pub restaurant thing. Um, but other than that, there's not much going on for the rest of the day. I'll probably do some more reading later tonight um just because you know just a little tired and as you can tell from the bags under my eyes end of term still wipe out i will fix my makeup before i go out um i did straighten my hair it is nice and straight now and super long i can't wait to chop it off um but that's coming up so yeah if i don't check in i will see you tomorrow Good morning. So it is now Tuesday morning, uh, quarter to nine. So it's early in the morning. My fiance has gone to work. He only has like three days this week, which is nice. He, is it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? So that's good because it's Easter weekend. So pretty good. Um, we went to dinner last night. That was lovely. Hang out with uh, my partner's family. Um, and yeah, so got up this morning having my iced coffee i'm nearly finished that i um, anything more i will hopefully read a bit more today so i was going to once i've done some of the house chores and everything i was going to do that i am so excited to get my hair chopped off if you can see how long it is it's just ugh, pain uh new shirt it's my new favorite shirt it's from red bubble it's my favorite i also got um i finally put the case back on my phone um oh i'm getting a parcel today that's exciting what am i getting one second 
Oh, there's a book coming today. That's exciting. There's a book. So ignore the vacuum noises in the background. If you can't hear them, that's even better. Uh, I just went and did my makeup. I'm practicing with eyeshadows because I'm not great with eyeshadows. Um, because I have my engagement party coming up. So I need to get better at that because I don't want to pay for someone else to do my makeup. I know that's pretty dodgy, but I could always do like my basic winged eyeliner stuff and all that kind of thing. Um, I just logged on to my computer, which is here. Um, and um, Olivia Reads a Latte has just released some new videos, so I'm probably going to watch them. Um, still waiting for my book to come. It says between 8.30 and 10.30, so who knows when that will occur. Um, and yeah, do some reading. Might read another chapter of this and I'll let you know what I'm thinking. So yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos. If you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Happy to give them a go and let me know what you think. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to get started on doing some things. And I'll keep you recording and I'll just put you in fast forward. But yeah. I got two pair of glasses. These are my readers. Let's just do some straight reading. Yeah, let's go. Why do they make these so hard? They're open. Huh? Like it's good as protected and all, but like Jesus. Oh, I just ran around. Come out. Yes! So excited. So this is the next book in the Trial of Sorcerers um, by Elise Cova. It is A Hunt of Shadows book two and it's got I Vow I Will Kill You, Let It End. Receipt. So it's under the dust jacket. Oh my god! How 
beautiful is that? That is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Honestly, like, it's just so soft too. You could just have the books like that. But I also love the covers. Yes. This is beautifully put together. Get rid of the bookmark in the middle of the book. I don't need that. I have enough bookmarks. But, like, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I can't wait to read this one. Oh, so many books. So I've just moved spots. I'm now sitting in my reading chair. Oh, it's a lot more comfortable. I shouldn't have been sitting at my desk, but anyway. Um, so I've read another chapter of The Love Hypothesis. Uh, the tension in this book and like, oh, I love both of them. I love the chaotic energy of Olive and I love the brutey, like arrogance of Adam. Like, you could have the pretty arrogance. I, I get that coming through, but I also get like he's trying to be appropriate at this kind of appropriate at the same time. Like, you know, you didn't ask for my consent to kiss me and all that kind of stuff. But I love like the chaotic energy between the two. It's so good. I can't wait to read Trap Shoot. I'm going to get into it straight away. Very quickly before, oh, I better pause my music. So I sit over here with my mouse to my computer over there and turn my music on and off. Um, anyway, oh my god, it's so adorable. Um, I'm, I haven't read many contemporary romances. Um, it is not something that I usually read. Um, but oh my god, this is adorable. I think I might have been converted. Jeez. Um, I love Adam. I love Olive. 
I'm not even finished chapter two, like 30 pages in and I'm hooked, man. I'm hooked. But I have so many things to do today. Um, it's at a point where I can stop it. Sometimes it's not like the end of a chapter where you can stop. Sometimes it's like a midpoint where they switch scenes. Um, so I am going to stop here and I am going to do some other filming. Um, yeah. So let's see what happens. Mr. Popo is right next to me. He's a good boy. Um, but yeah, loving it. If you are thinking about picking this up, I'm only 30 pages in and I think you should. So we'll see how we go when we get to the end. Um, but yeah, let's get filming. Okay, so nothing much has happened, but I have got this delivered. Um, no return dress. It's got my details on it. So let's see what it is. Who knows? Maybe it's the Crescent City print. I don't know. But not break it then. Looks like an art print. I don't Oh, it is the Crescent City! Oh my god. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, that's everything. That is gorgeous. Mum and girls, just that. So cool. That's that's gonna need to be framed and put up on the wall now. So it finally arrived. So this was a part of the pre-order for House of Sky and Breath. Um, I actually liked it more than the first book. But how gorgeous is that? I love it. It is divine. Hopefully yours arrives soon if you've got your order as well. So who knows? Now I've got to bring my sister back. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I've read 135 pages now all up. Uh, I am loving it. Um, I think I'm a convert to the genre. Um, if you have read this book... And you know books that are similar or something along these lines that is essentially a similar book. Um, can you put some recommendations down below? Because I really want to try them now. Um, I'm just saying fetch with Poe. Um, he has woken up from a nap and is very ooh, um, <laughs> athletic at the moment. He wants to play. So we're playing um so i am on chapter oh, what chapter am i on one second let me flick through chapter seven um i'm really really loving it i'm loving that quirky dynamic and how much of an ass he is and how much um she's starting to call him out on that but also um how anxious she is as a person and how she's like second guessing everything but she's not getting the signals that he actually likes her and uh, he's okay with all this and yeah I don't know I just can't keep a smile on my face it's just so cute yeah it's very much a grumpy sunshine kind of trope and I'm kind of liking the fake dating I never thought I would I didn't think it was something that I would like but I am enjoying it um Poe requires lots of ball throwing at the moment well lots of toy throwing that is go oh I, I messed that up sorry Poe um but yeah um the lounge people aren't coming till later this afternoon so Poe and I are going to play for a while and hopefully I don't get his ball under the bed or his sticky thing under the bed um yeah meep, meep. um yeah that's about it I'm gonna cook some hello fresh tonight um so I'll show you that um as we're cooking it my partner will probably cook it because um, he cooks I don't I bake yeah anyway I'm gonna go back to reading and finish this chapter Maybe read another one. Who knows? I didn't intend to read that much in such a short time. So, anyway. Okay, so I've taken off my makeup. I've read some more. Poe has annoyed me with his stick thing. Um, 
I'm on chapter 11. I just love it. I, I really love it. So, um, uh, the person that Olive is playing, applying for a grant with is actually Adam's best friend, Tom. Um, so she gets the grant. She can go to Harvard next year. But she's really realizing that she really likes Adam and that she has a massive crush on him. And it might be the L word. And she's just been talking with her friend at the pub or at the Starbucks cafe. And Adam has just walked in. It's just, I love how cliche it is, but I, it is super cliche, but I also love how cliche it is. Like, like it's a hallmark romance. It's just so sweet. I just love it. It's just what I needed, really. I've been reading so many dark romances and dark fantasies and honestly, oh, I am probably, I'm on page 179 now. There are 370 pages, so not over half, nearly halfway, nearly getting there. But, you know, I might finish it tonight, who knows? Maybe I'll finish tomorrow, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I'm loving it. You totally should read it. Totally should. But yeah. I'm going to keep reading. So good. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 13th. Um, I've just got dressed. I've had some breakfast. Had my coffee. Um, I've got about 15 minutes before I've got to leave for the hairdressers. So a last shot. I've done my makeup today very happy with how it's looking um so this is my hair currently i'll show you in the mirror behind me i don't know if you can see there we go this is my hair currently so it's quite long um i can't wait to chop it off because i'm over it so very excited um i'm also getting it dyed so you'll just have to wait and see when it's all done i'm probably going to take my book with me so take you back to the bedroom I haven't read any more of my book than last night ignore the mess behind me and my wardrobe um, I am still on chapter 13 so chapter 13 um, I'm probably gonna take it with me and do some reading why I am there um, because I know it's gonna be a long process so yeah say goodbye to my long hair it has been fun while I had it um it'd be good though to look back on this later and go hmm, remember all you can really do with your hair is braid it uh turn it into a plait or try and do a bun but have to take it out halfway through the day or just do like a half up one on your head so might as well be shorter but I'm excited to have a lot of the weight gone um took me about two years to grow um, I have had it cut multiple times so it's at my bra line or lower than my bra line I've had it cut multiple times so it would have been longer but because of the cutting it got shorter um so yeah if I ever want it back it doesn't take long um but I'm excited to have a bit of a change and cut off all the dead ends so yeah can't wait to show you sorry for the really zoomed in on my face you really didn't need to see that um, but I'm excited. So I will see you when it's done. Bye. Hello, it's the afternoon. Um, four hours later and my hair is done. It is a lot darker than I thought it would be, but it is a, it's called a demi permanent. So it will wash out after a while, um, after 28 washes. So it will tone down. Um, but I'm loving the colors. It's like red, blonde, and then like a rich brown. It will tone down as I go, but I love it. I love it so much. I'm loving the length, especially. So much easier. And I can still put it back in a ponytail. So, perfection. Um, I haven't read much more of my book. Um... I haven't read much more of my book. I read like a chapter at the hairdressers, but 
there was just too much going on for me to finish it so that's okay um i've got people coming around this afternoon to pick up the lounge uh which will be good it means we get rid of the old one um and yeah gonna try and finish the book tonight hopefully um and wrap up this vlog i do have some very exciting stuff coming soon so stay tuned for that as well uh and i'll give you an update when i finish reading the next bit bye okay so totally forgot to show you last night but this is our new lounge so we have the lights underneath and then we have the lights in the cup holders it fully is automatic so it opens is it this? And the handrail. Uh, on both sides, cup holders. And then we've got little arm things in there. This guy pulls down. So you've got cup holders. And then we've got a reading light under here. Which is just cool. They swivel as well. Power points in here. So if we need to charge anything while we're playing. And then... Um, yeah, I love it so much. Poe loves it as well. You good boy, aren't you, Poe? Um, but yeah, means my partner and I can both have a reclining chair. Poe normally sits in the middle on his blanket. We also have the side lounge in case someone else comes. And this is the lounge we're getting rid of today. So hopefully that will go out today before we go. Got my archery equipment all set for the weekend. And yeah, super excited. Are we, Poe? Yeah? Oh, it's a good boy. Okay, so back in my armchair. I'm just going to put it out. I'm sure you will ignore my pile of washing over there, but we'll just... Ah, so nice. i just move my headrest forward a bit. My cup holder has lights as well. I can turn the lights off if I need as well. But yeah, I'm going to settle in here. Got some music going. I'm going to read my book, which I've actually got in my own rest. I'll just get it out. It's my book rest or my snack rest, as I'm calling it. But so good. I don't even know if I'm going to use my reading chair upstairs, to be honest. But anyway, Poe is here chewing his bone. I'm going to try and... Oh, he won't give me my pillow, but anyway. But yeah, I'm going to read. And I'll get back to you once I finish a bit more of it. Bye! everyone it is the end of the vlog it is now Thursday so I have been out and done all the things I have washed my hair last night and then curled it this morning just quickly with my um, straightener um, but I thought I'd give you a quick wrap up of this book so um, the love hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood was probably one of my favorite books this month and probably one of my favorites so far this year bar house of sky and breath um i really enjoyed the character dynamic between olive and adam um i totally get how this is an adam driver fan fiction in terms of um like kylo ren and ray kind of idea um though i'm pretty sure that ray is a lot more um a lot more forward, like less um, unsure of herself. Where um, in this, Olive was a bit like apprehensive about things and wasn't sure about things. Um, I liked the villain. So I've seen a lot of people say they didn't like the villain. Um, I don't like him as a person. My battery's just about to die. Bear with me. Okay, we're back. I think we're right now. Okay, so I've just replaced my battery, so that makes it easier. Um, okay, I was also saying about the villain. Um, I don't like him as a person, but I liked him in terms of his villainousness. So I liked the idea that it wasn't something like absolutely horrible. He didn't um, R word her. It was just very much like threats. Um, I thought this book was very, very rom-com romance. I do appreciate uh, the fact that it knows what it's doing. It is very satirical in that idea. And it's like, especially when she talks about like, my hypothesis is this. And you're like, oh, it's not a rom-com. And you're like, mm -hmm, yeah, it is. Um, 
I liked how it turned out in the end. I liked the um, LGBTQI plus represented, representation within this. Um, yes, they didn't come out and say that Olive was um, like... Olive didn't come out and say specifically what she was, but um, from what we're reading, we can tell that she is a person that doesn't feel um, sexual attraction to someone unless um, she's actually built a relationship with them, and I think that's really good. I'm sorry, I don't know the actual word for it. If you do, please let me know down below. Um, I liked the science within it. I liked the character relationships. Honestly, if you want a rom-com romance and you have uh, read a lot of romance books but you want something that represents consent that's something that represents um, actual feelings and relationships if you want something that is quirky and funny if you want something that will just brighten your mood mood then try this book um, but yeah that's all from me I hope you have enjoyed the vlog I am not going to do them regularly, maybe one a month, um, and I'll pick a book to read for that month. Um, but I absolutely love this. Um, if you haven't read already, I suggest you do. I'm going to go jump straight on and order the next one. So I'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good day. Bye.